This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take all the rumors from the week and we condense them into one dense awesomeness rumor show for you. Up this week, we're going to talk about an iPad 5 might be coming sooner than you thought. The Galaxy Note 7 might be making its debut, and LG might be set to finally unveil some brand new Google TVs at CES. And finally... BlackBerry 10 looks like it is quite definitely upon us as the Z10 has shown up in Carphone Warehouse's inventory. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. So you know that brand new iPad 4 you just got for Christmas that you're loving and kissing and saying it's the best new iPad you've ever seen? Well, it might be outdated sooner than you thought. If you thought the release cycle between 3 and 4 was short, wait till you hear what might be coming for 5. According to a report from Mako Katara, the 5th generation iPad will be making its way to store shelves in March 2013. According to the sources that spoke with the site, the 5th iteration of the top selling tablet will pick up some of the design cues from the iPad mini, be thinner, shorter, and a little bit narrower, so smaller bezels. Apple's release schedule is getting crazy short. I mean, when it was a year, it was fine. You could predict when the next tablet was coming, the next phone was coming. And I think they're doing more harm than good to the company. They're selling certainly a boat ton, but it's hurting the reputation, I think, of what the people feel about the iPad being a premium product, at least having the newest for a few months. I don't know, maybe I'm off here. What do you guys think? If you're looking for something to compete with either the Nexus 7 or the iPad mini, Samsung might have you covered. So a device thought to be Samsung's upcoming Note 7 has turned up in GL Benchmarks database, hinting that the company is prepared to compete with Google's crazy popular Nexus 7 and of course, the just mentioned iPad mini. So Benchmarks listing doesn't really guarantee a Note 7 is going to be coming or really much information about the device overall. What is revealed though is that it's got the Samsung brand. It's running Android 4.1.2, no 4.2 on board, and that's really about it. However, we're just guessing that the device true's identity is a Nexus 7. According to our friends at Fandroid, reported specs of the device supposedly include a display resolution of 1280 by 800, a 1.6 GHz quad core Exynos 4412, 2 gigs of RAM, and all the popular functionality Samsung puts in their Note devices. The company doesn't have much on tap for CES at least supposedly, which is only really just a week or so away. Uh, so maybe we'll see something of substance, maybe at Mobile World Congress. Uh, perhaps it'll be geared to a more international audience. Samsung does make the Nexus 10, so it's kind of maybe competing against themselves a little bit in the Nexus front. I do think, though, that we'll definitely see one. So listen, I'm going to be honest. I've written off Google TV many years ago. I was there at the grand debut when Sony in New York took the wrap of the first Google TVs, and I was excited for it. It looked awesome. And then I used it and realized I had absolutely no use for it whatsoever. And since its announcement a few years ago, it's kind of petered off. Now, well, LG is hoping that they could revive the Google TV brand, and they are supposedly set to introduce multiple new Google TV-enabled television sets at CES 2013. Google streaming media platform has been getting a bit more powerful lately. They got a new redesign. LG is hopefully thinking that it's time to give folks more options to try it out. Announced this week, LG is going to be introducing a 42, 47, 50, 55, and 60-inch sets to the platform built in at CES 2013. I would have liked to see seen 65 bigger, but capping out at 60 is certainly pretty decent as well. Additionally, as many manufacturers do with Android, there's going to be a custom UI skin slapped on top of the platform, which may be a bit more appealing to your casual consumer looking at these sets uh, in an electronic store. Particularly interesting, though, will be the inclusion of the card system. Uh, this new feature is going to act as folders for various apps, as well as delivering information such as news, weather, information about various television programs, uh, and all kinds of other goodness. The dual core processor on board really should be pretty fast to be able to serve up the apps relatively quickly, also providing the user at the snappy experience, which is ultimately super important uh, to the whole online smart TV experience. So we'll see what those look like at CES 2013. Of course, we'll be covering all that goodness, so stick around and we'll show you what they got. And rounding up the rumors, BlackBerry 10 is finally almost upon us. The BlackBerry Z10 has showed up in Carphone Warehouse's inventory. This comes just one day after the device showed up in marketing materials. There's not so much really to go on from the inventory description. It does confirm the Z10 name. Name, which is very different. We sort of had sort of curved and bold before. Z10 doesn't make that much sense, but we do know it's going to come in black or white. But other than that, 
we don't really know that much. But we've seen several leaked images of the device along with the video preview and with RIM's January 30th BlackBerry 10 day of reckoning just around the corner, we would be surprised to see the specs hitting before the official unveiling. So now that we've rounded up all the rumors, I'm gonna take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Sometimes during our sponsor reads, we've got all kinds of cool products and new things coming. But this one is a message and nothing more. So please, if you only pay attention to one, pay attention to this one, it is super important. But with New Year's coming very soon, the police are going to be out in full force in a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving. Young adults, so you and me, I consider myself a young adult still. No, I've got a three before my number of years. During December 2010, drivers aged 21 to 34 were involved in more fatal drunk driving crashes than any other group. 78% of those drivers were male. So dudes and dudettes, if you go anywhere near a drink, just don't drive. Call your mom, call your dad, call your girlfriend, cousin, somebody else you know, call a cab, any other way to get home. It's not worth putting your life at risk, your passenger's life at risk, or somebody else who's just innocently driving on the road that you might hit at risk. Guys, moral is drive sober or get pulled over. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video.